Aaliyah, your play is a big reason why. What's led to this being uh, such a great season so far for the Crimson Tide? Um, I think just uh, the team, we're well, well connected. Uh, we know each other really well on and off the court. Um, I think the coaches have been putting us in positions to succeed. And we've just come in every single day and tried to work hard and just continue to just be who we are. Have you seen this team really grow all throughout the season? Because uh, you did have some returning pieces like you, Sarah Ashley Barker, uh, Loyal McQueen from a year ago, but you get to blend that with some newcomers as well. How have you all come together? I think just practicing together and getting to know each other um, on and off the court, like I said. I think we've slowly um, gotten to know like each other's game, and we've – been putting that together I think these last few games you can see that we're starting to learn each other even more and it wasn't easy in the beginning of the season but I think as the season has come along we have really gotten to know each other's strengths and weaknesses and what we're capable of doing absolutely and for you a lot of that has been of course your outstanding three-point shooting uh continuing to lead uh, not only Alabama but the SEC and three-pointers made uh let's just talk in general about shooting from beyond the arc have you always been a pretty solid three-point shooter when did that really become part of your game I think in high school, I um, I shot threes, but I haven't, I wasn't just like a three point shooter. Um, I think slowly in high school, though, my high school coach really helped me with my shot and my form. Every single day at practice, everybody, we would all work on um, our form. He made us put it in the shot pocket, extend and then release. And then we would go to the free throw line and take one dribble, pull up, extend, release and put it all together. So I think my high school coach really helps me with my shot. And just along the way of my like college career, I have become um, a three point shooter. So any specific drills or anything, uh, maybe, you know, high school players are watching this wanting to know how they can be more like a Leah Nye. What would you say about developing a consistent, not just three point shot, but mm -hmm. uh, successful mechanics? I think just repetition. Um, like I said, in high school, we used to just come in, we used to have it in our shot pocket, extend up and release at your highest point. So just practicing just that simple routine has really helped my shot. And then just shooting, like I shoot on the gun, um, just getting repetition and just keep like the same shot every single time and try to just focus on the base of your shot all the way up to the release of it. Well, that was really important for Alabama just a week ago uh, when the Crimson Tide were at Vanderbilt. I know things weren't necessarily going Alabama's way in the second quarter, but then you hit a couple of key three-pointers. Uh, first of all, how unique is it to shoot in Memorial Gymnasium? Uh, it's unlike really any other gym Alabama plays in. I was telling everyone that I really liked the gym. It felt like it had more space because there wasn't uh, benches on the uh, sideline they were on the baseline so I really liked it honestly I enjoyed that gym playing in that gym so yeah you shot the ball very well there again yeah, helped yeah, Alabama I shot it well back. too so <laughs> yeah hit some great shots down the stretch and that turned out to be a really special night uh, Alabama gets the win obviously love that for what it means this season but then you look at Christy Curry that's the 500th win she's had at a college head coach what did it mean to you to be part of that milestone we all get to see the video of the celebration in the locker room I'm sure that was a really special time uh, it's amazing. Coach Chrissy is an amazing coach. She wants to succeed on and off the court. Uh, she's just a great mentor. She encourages us. She wants to get to know us better as players and just as regular uh, people as well. And I think it's great that we got this opportunity to get that win for her at Vanderbilt. And she, we just want to win for her. And like, she's just an amazing coach. And you can't say I can go on and on about how amazing she is to us. Like she wants us to win. She wants us to succeed and we want to do the same for her. Absolutely. And then you did a few days later uh, against Tennessee, a great home game at Coleman Coliseum. What led to success against the Lady Vols? I think we were all connected and we played really well together. We played great defense. Um, our bench came in, they produced for us, uh, which is what we've been wanting. Um, we put, I think we had four people in double figures that game. We just put an all-around Alabama game together. And when we can play like that, I feel like we can beat anyone. And, um, yeah, I think everyone just played their game. and We played really well together. We were really well connected. How much pride have you taken in your defense this year? I, um, I love to play defense, honestly. People probably don't think that, but I love getting stops. I love um, – just trying to get steals, uh, 
I think defense really leads to offense. And when you can get that hype going on defense, it's easier to succeed on offense and just get that offense flowing too. So I try to do anything to help my teammates defensively. I've seen some great results uh, thanks to that. Uh, looking at some of your teammates for just a minute, I want to throw out a few names and get your thoughts on them, uh, starting with Sarah Ashley Barker. What have you seen out of her this year? She's an amazing leader. Not only does she do a lot of things for us offensively and defensively, defensively she's just amazing vocally. Um, she comes in. She competes every single day. She's a competitor. She wants to win. Uh, she's just she does everything for this team. And I think she's just a really great teammate. She does everything defensively by taking charges. She guards people's best players most times. Uh, she guards people's four players, even though she might not be a true four. Like she's willing to do anything for this team uh, to win. So I think she's just an amazing leader and she's the key to this team. How about Loyal McQueen? Loyal McQueen, she has grown so much. Um, she has become so vocal as well this year. She's very vocal. She she controls this team. She's our PG. Um, she's just an amazing person as well. She's so sweet and so nice. Uh, she has really had to step up um, because HB left this year, and I think she's done an amazing job. And then we always love seeing a freshman make an impact. In essence, Cody has certainly done that uh, right away here at the Capstone, taking over as a starter at the five. Uh, what have you liked about her game? Uh, she just comes in and she does what we need her to do. Um, she's a freshman, so she has her struggles. But I think she is very level-headed. She doesn't really get too emotional. Um, I think she just stays the course. And even when things aren't going her way, I know she's been in a lot of foul trouble this year. Like she still um, just stays level-headed in it. And I'm just proud of her. And I know it's not hard. Like this season has not been easy for her. Um, but she still comes in every single day and just puts in the work. So you're helping freshmen make that transition from high school basketball now to college basketball. Does it kind of blow your mind how fast that transition has happened from you being a freshman at Illinois to now being in your second season in this program and being one of the true veterans on this team? Um, my college career I, has been fun. Like it has definitely flew by pretty fast. And um, I'm just glad that I ended up here at Alabama I love this team and I love this program. I love being here. Um, and I don't want to take any day for granted because I know I don't have a few, many days left. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we first had you on the show a couple of years ago. Once you made that decision uh, to transfer from Illinois to Alabama, just has it lived up to everything you would hope it would be? Uh, how much have you enjoyed being a student athlete here? It definitely has. I mean, uh, my family, my sisters, they they went here and they go here. So it's been um, cool just seeing my family more at my games. Um, obviously, Coach Christie, Coach Curry, Coach Roman, um, and Coach Tenille, like all the coaches that have been here, I really enjoy working with them. Um, they're amazing coaches. And then the teammates that I have, like, are so amazing. Like, I love hanging out with them, not just, like, going to practice with them, but, like, we hang out all the time. And I just love the relationships that I've built here. And then just the environment on campus. Like, the sports is just a whole new level for my old school. Like, I love going to sporting events and supporting all the sports, soccer, men's basketball, baseball, softball. I think um, the environment here is really uh, what I really like, so. Well, I'd be bragging some of your friends from some other sports uh, who have you come close with. Um, the soccer girls. Uh, I know we had Macy. Uh, she was on the soccer team this year. She's actually a senior, so she's going to be gone. But she was one of our interns for um, Coach Ash in the weight room. So we really got close with her, and we would go support them. Um, and then just like men's basketball, obviously, we're around them all the time, so we support them. So, yeah. That's certainly good. And you mentioned uh, Coach Ashley Beaver. Uh, how much have you enjoyed getting to work with her, and especially in the off season, trying to transform your body to be ready to go for another year? Just how much have you enjoyed getting to work with her? I always tell her that I hate lifting weights, but I do. I do love the way that my body has transformed. Uh, she has really worked with us, and I think my body has changed drastically since I've been here. I've been in way better condition. Um, I look better. I feel better since I've been here. And she's just an amazing strength coach. But I will always pick on her and say that I don't like to lift. So. 
<laughs> well, good deal. Well, uh, we're getting to a point of the season that Alabama doesn't have a game on this Thursday. You're back at it at home against the Auburn Tigers coming up on Sunday. And this is really now the stretch run to close out SEC strong, mm-hmm. the SEC tournament, NCAA tournament after that. Just what is this group capable of in the next few weeks? I think if we play the basketball, how we played um, the last few games against Tennessee and Vanderbilt, that we can really close out really strong. I think we have to stay together. Um, I think just putting those games together and learning and still staying connected uh, is really going to help close this season out strong. I know last season we did not end how we wanted to end. So we've been aware of that and we just want to just keep steady and keep doing what we're doing um, and just playing together. And I think this team can make a great run and even in the SEC tournament as well. We're so looking forward to it. Well, Lee and I, thank you so much for your time with us this week on Crimson Drive, driven by NASCAR. Uh, Really all the best to you and the Crimson Tide moving forward. Thanks again. Roll Tide. Thank you. Thank you. Roll Tide.